Hello, my name is Dan Stewart. I'm one of the Siemens product specialists from ENM in the Pacific Northwest. The topic for today is ET200 AL distributed I.O. Looking at the plan overview, you can see that Siemens offers a variety of different I.O. formats. The type you choose is based on your I.O. and mounting requirements, whether it's mounted in a central cabinet or on the machine is a determining factor in which type you use. In the case of the ET200 AL, it is lightweight and designed for distributed architecture. It is IP65 67 rated, along with a 10G vibration and wide temperature range makes it suitable for machine mounting and on arm mounting for a robot. You will notice there are a couple of different types of I.O. that look very similar. These are the ET200 Eco PN, that's number 8, and the ET200 AL, that's shown in number 5 and number 6. We will discuss the differences between them in the next couple of slides. Even though both products are I.O. drops, they are very different products. Let's start out with the first big difference. The ET200 Eco PN has its own address, and the ET200 AL has an interface module which has the address, and each of the I.O. drops are just like slots in a rack. They do not have individual drop addresses. Each product is built to meet the requirements of specific applications. The ET200 Eco PN is very rugged, built with a metal housing, has high featured eye diagnostics, and a wide temperature range. It is built for tough environments and because it weighs a lot more than the ET200 AL. The ET200 Eco PN was designed for those tough applications such as machine tool, automotive industry, and other applications that can take best benefit of its construction. The ET200 AL, on the other end, is lightweight, designed for a distributed layout, has almost as wide a temperature range, and is a lot lighter weight. It is designed for applications that require the lightweight IL product, such as packaging, material handling, robotics, and conveyors. Let's talk about the system architecture of the ET200 AL. There are a couple ways to implement it. If you have an existing ET200 SP system and need I.O. outside the control cabinet, you can put it in a BA send terminal on the slot right of either the CPU or interface module and have up to 16 modules attached directly to the terminal with a total length of 15 meters between each modules or 240 meters for the system. These all map in as standard I.O. The section, second option is by using the ET200 AL interface module. You can have up to 32 modules connected. 16 modules on each bus connection on the interface. The total for each interface module is 15 meters between each module and a total of 240 meters per bus connection. There are no restrictions in I.O. mix on either topology. You can freely use digital in-out, analog, in and out, and I.O. link modules. When using I.O. link master, modules can extend your system with a variety of different I.O. modules which connect directly to the I.O. link master port located up to 20 meters from the module. Here are some notable features about the ET200 AL products. I will go in greater detail in the next couple of slides. Flexible installation. With its front and side mounting and small footprint, it can be mounted even in limited spaces. Robustness. Broad temperature range and robust housing make it a good fit in applications that have splashing water its chemical resistance plastic housing works well in areas that experience 
chemicals, oils, and fire. Clear design of channels. Marking aids in wiring and troubleshooting of the drop. Standardized M8 and M12 connection technologies used throughout the family. Greater reliability with vibration rating up to 10G is very suitable for robotic arm applications. Safety shutdown up to PLD or SIL-3 can be achieved by using the Siemens failsafe controller, failsafe module, and separate power supply. IO-Link 4-port master can be directly attached to the IO-Link devices, including expansion modules up to 20 feet from the port. Let's look at the selection of IO modules that are available. Interface modules can be Profinet, Profibus, Multi-field bus, that's Profinet, Ethernet IP, or Modbus TCP, or the BA SAND terminal used on the ET200SP. I will go through the I.O. types and will not speak of all the individual modules with few exceptions. We have analog, digital in, digital in out, one specific one to note with this one is that we have a 16 di do module that will support up to four counters up to two k hertz it can be used as a configurable 16 point module but if you choose to use the counters each counter will have its own independent output on the module plus you will still have eight other points which are configurable the next type is a digital output rated up to 2 amp per output. This is great for solenoid and other high amperage loads. The last type shown is the IO Link Master module. The last type of the modules we will look at is the IO Link Expansion modules, which can be used with the ET200AL IO Link Master or any other approved IO Link Master. This expansion allows up to 16 points of I.O. to be used on a standard I.O. link master channel. The beginning of the presentation was focused on using Profinet and Siemens products to use the ET200AL product. I would now like to introduce you to a new offering that will give you the capability to use these great products on other brands of PLCs. Siemens has developed a technology called Multi-Field Bus which allows for the use of a variety of these Siemens I.O. products on any platform that supports Profinet, Ethernet IP, or Modbus TCP. So all the distributed I.O. which we spoke about can be used with PLCs that support those protocols. This slide showed some of the basic features of multi-field bus. Whether it's ET200SP and its capabilities, ET200 EcoPN, ET200AL, all these products work on multi field bus. If you need to just pass IO information between Profinet and another protocol, PLC is easily done with the PN MF coupler. The configuration is done with a free software tool called the MFCT tool. The configuration is created and it creates files that are recognized by Ethernet IP or Modbus TCP. For example, with Rockwell, you create an EDS file which is easily integrated into your existing project. This was a short introduction to the ET200AL family of products. If you'd like more information, on the family or any of these other products, here are a few links for further information. Again, my name is Dan Stewart. I am one of the Siemens product specialists at e m in the Pacific Northwest. Please send me an email if you have any questions. I truly appreciate you taking the time to view this presentation.